All right, I've got a tutorial for you guys today. Almost every time I put up a rock band video, I get asked how I do the note chart overlay over me playing the game. And today I'm going to show you how I do that. So I use Sony Vegas Pro 13. I'm pretty sure any Vegas Pro year or iteration lets you do this. But just for uh, my preference is I use 13. That's the one I've had since it came out and I really enjoy it. So you're going to want to import your media, go to your videos. You are going to want to put the note chart, the like the Rock Band 4 or Guitar Hero or whatever you want to do in that sense. You want to put the note chart on top. So you want to import the note chart video, and then you're going to want to import the video of you playing the game, of course. And then put the note chart video on top here because that's the one you're gonna, going to be cutting. And I'm not going to worry too much about lining these up perfectly because it doesn't matter. Just I'm just going to show you how to do it for the sake of doing it. And then put you playing it underneath that. So, and then you're going to want to go to the note chart, the video track, right click in the video track and select video event pan slash crop right here. Click on that. And then down here in the lower left corner where it says position in mask, you're going to want to turn on mask and then select the anchor creation tool right over here. Select the anchor creation tool. And then you're going to want to cut out the note chart. I'm just using a laptop mouse pad right now, so it's not going to be very straight, but you get the idea. Wow, that's awful. But anyway, so there you go. Make sure you complete it like that. And then now, as you can see over here, it popped up. And then just if you want to, you can make it look nice. Um, I like to put a out feather type on it. And then just to make that a little bit so it doesn't just look so straight edge, it looks a little bit nicer than that. And then you want to click over here to position. And then you can just drag it around the screen however, however you like. I like to set mine over there. And then you can save the preset if you would like. So if you save the preset, then it'll have it automatically set. And then you can just select it from the drop down menu right here. So you don't have to cut it out every time. You can just click on it and it'll be set to go. And then that's it. And then, of course, try to line it up perfectly so it looks like... So you are playing it along with the note chart. And... Like, obviously, you can do that. That's a, that's very easy to figure out. I don't, I don't think I should have to explain that in this tutorial. But if so, let me know how to line up tracks and make the video and put it all together. And then, it, also, if you want to add this, the score, you can do the same thing, except just cut out the score instead of the note chart. But I'm pretty sure you have to do a separate video track for that. So if you want to do that, you can just move the video track of you playing down and then insert a new video track above it. Make sure that the video of you playing is on the very bottom. All the game screens have to be on top of you playing, so then you can cut them out and have it just show what you want it to show, so you playing can be behind it. And if you want to do, like I said, if you want to have the score in there, you can't do two videos, you can't do two event pan slash crops in one note chart. You might be able to, but I haven't really taken the time to figure that out. It might be really easy. But just for the sake of this, um, it's very. It's also very simple to just add a video chart. You can just go up here, insert video track, and then you put the screen back in. Line it up however you need to. Video event pan slash crop. Turn mask on. Make sure you have the anchor creation tool, cut out the score, make sure you complete that like that, and then there's your score. Remember it's the out feather type, at least that's the one I like to do. Turn it up just a little bit, and then click over down here in position, and then you can place it wherever you think looks good. And that should be it. Then when you get to the end, if you want, 
Um, you can add, you can turn off the event, the cropping of the event if you want, so you can have just the full game screen displayed afterwards. Um, and that should be pretty much everything. So if I forgot anything, or if you want me to explain something a little bit more clearly, please let me know. I love to answer your comments, and thank you for watching. And of course, subscribe right here on Get Some Games.